Uh, good morning, Internet. I'm coming to you live. Well, not necessarily live, uh, but I'm coming to you uh, from a Crestron controlled room uh, that is not working right now. Here is our uh, room, uh, and we have a, a Crestron HD RX 201 C E and a HD TX 301 C E. I did not do the uh, install in this room, uh, but uh, the install was done about a year and a half ago uh, from a pretty competent company. They did a pretty clean install. Uh, I got a call uh, just a few days ago saying that uh, no content was getting to the TV, came down, did some troubleshooting, and the RX201 uh, was not receiving any uh, power. Uh, so I called uh, uh, Crestron, talked to their handy dandy uh, Crestron True Blue uh, support technicians, uh, really fast, they said, yep, uh, the uh, item is not working, uh, and they sent me an advanced replacement uh, the very next day, and so now I'm back down here to replace it. Let me get this thing plugged in and get the room back up and running. One of the nice things about this uh, RX201 is that it is also a room controller, a 2 by one auto switch, and a scaler. Basically what that means is uh, you can control the television in your conference room, meaning you can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can tell it what HDMI input to be on when it turns on. Uh, so if you have a HDMI cable on your on your conference table, as soon as you plug that HDMI cable into your laptop, uh, your TV should then turn on and it, the TV should automatically switch to HDMI 1 and you will be displaying your content from your uh, laptop or whatever source you have uh, to the television in the room. Let's open up the uh, new unit here and see what we have inside the box. As always, Crestron always likes to package their uh, equipment very nice and safely so that if uh, whatever delivery company delivers it or the box falls, you know, it will be, uh, it'll arrive safely. Got a little setup card and we have the uh, power supply and uh, audio and uh, control adapters here. Installing these systems is uh, really, really simple. Uh, let me show you what's underneath the table. Underneath the table here, we have the uh, the HDTX 301C-E, uh, and basically you need to power this, uh, and then you need to run a CAT6 cable, uh, preferably a shielded CAT6 cable, uh, from this location uh, to the receiver location behind the television. Uh, there are uh, two HDMI inputs and a VGA input uh, on the side of this, and you can run those up to your conference table. And behind the TV, uh, these are all the connections that you need. Uh, so this uh, network cable uh, is actually the cable that is patched to the uh, transmitter underneath the conference table. Uh, and this uh, control cable uh, is RS-232, uh, will be plugged into the new uh, receiver. Uh, and this HDMI will be plugged into the uh, new receiver as well. Uh, and uh, this control cable, uh, the other end of this control cable, uh, is a DB9 connection, which is then plugged into the TV uh, for control. Once you have your uh, new RX, uh, in order to find the IP of it, you actually need to go, you need to plug an HDMI uh, into the output and you need to plug it into the display. And then on the front side of it, if you press the setup button, uh, the IP address will show up right here. And then you can actually leave your laptop set to DHCP and you just enter the IP address right there uh, into your computer and then you get prompted to the screen right here and right now the username and password are the admin admin which is what Crestron sets up as default and now connected to the device I can see my settings you know I can see the model number the serial number the firmware version blah 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 I can go to routing, inputs, outputs, network, and device. Um, what I need to do is I need to adjust my output settings so that I can make uh, this TV right here turn on when I plug this HDMI cable into my laptop and then make the TV turn off when I unplug this. Here are the output settings. So I have it enabled. Uh, the name, I mean, you can name it whatever you want, but I have it set to output. Uh, the resolution I have set to auto, which is recommended. HTCP I have set to automatic. And if we go down to the automatic power settings, power off, uh, I set to custom, and then I set to 120 seconds. Uh, and for turn off input, I put no. Uh, and then for send command, it's RS-232 because I have the RS-232. Uh, and then underneath the 
terminator, I put CRLF, and once you select the AC, sorry, the ASCIL, you can then type in the command, and the command, uh, you can actually get this off of the, this is a plain RTV, you just have to go to the RS232 settings on that particular TV, uh, and for this one, it is display.power uh, equals off, and I hit save, and then I went down to the power on settings and did the same thing. Uh, so I selected it was RS232, uh, and then I selected the um, CRLF, and then I selected the AC, sorry, I keep saying AC, the ASCII, uh, and then that allows me to type in the command, which is display.power hyphen, or equals on, uh, and then I hit save, and let's see if that worked. Please excuse my uh, crude uh, installation here. Uh, so let us plug this guy in here. And that did not work. You know, this is some real world troubleshooting when I do things like that and you see it doesn't work. Uh, but I did forget one uh, setting and let me show you what setting it is. Here we are connected to uh, the system. And if I go down to devices and I go to my RS-232 port settings, uh, it was on 9600. And when I change it to uh, 19200 and rebooted the device, uh, that was the fix. So let's go back to my output settings and then go back to my device make sure my baud writing my baud stayed. All right, so now TV's turned off. HDMI. And that click I was hoping to hear. And it is a planar TV, so it takes a little bit of time. And come to daddy. There we go, TV's on, and there is my laptop. And if I go back to my inputs here, you can see I've got my input two plugged in right, and if I go to my outputs, uh, you can see um, that currently I've got it set to turn off after five seconds. I'm gonna change that back to 120. You can see it's my QE7550 display, and everything is working as it should. If you guys have any questions at all about this video, uh, please put them in the uh, comment section below. Uh, if you liked this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time to my channel, please subscribe. Have yourself a great day.